What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another hunting boot camp. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get my gear out to the blind, mainly on public land. So you know like private land you can haul your truck out, like if you're field hunting you just drive your truck and decoy trailer out and you dump all your decoys out and you're good to go. Or uh, take your boat blind or whatever. Or you got, you got your decoys already in your pit blind or something. Hunting public obviously is a lot different than that. You have to haul all your stuff in and usually it's going to be quite a ways if you want to get to where the birds are. I mean, if you've scouted them, if you know where the X is on public land, you're going to have to haul something. You're going to have to get in a boat blind, or you're going to have to put it on your back, or you're going to have to push it out there, however you can, to get out there. And this is what these are, these are the two things I use the most to do that. So starting off, use my kayak. This is a Sun Dolphin SS10 kayak that means it's a 10 foot kayak I could have gone a little bigger and if I would do it again I would have but uh, I really don't have too many complaints about this this was a fishing kayak that I have since modified to suit my hunting hunting needs I uh, the most obvious thing is the gun rack I installed uh, those are just uh, gun racks for an ATV I just screwed them into the kayak itself so they're not going anywhere like and neither is the gun if this thing would capsize my gun's not at the bottom of a lake, which is the main thing that I wanted to, you know, wanted to prevent. So I got a little shelf here, put my mojo up there, put my birds up there if I get any that day. I'll just kind of put, put them up there. It's a good storage spot. Got a couple cup holders for coffee or pop or juice or whatever. Uh, a couple side pockets, put gloves and uh, spare shells and whatever else you need. Then I got two what would have been pole holders because this is a fishing kayak, but I use it for my mojo stakes. And then uh, you got another cubby back here, and I just put my, my gear bag, I put my camera bag, I put whatever else, a spare life jacket or whatever, whatever else, you, there's, there's quite a bit of storage. You can put even a few full body decoys in there. And then I have all my decoys rigged up Texas rig style. So they got the clips. I just drilled two holes in the back here. So I can just put the clips in and I'm good to go. I'm just pulling my decoys and kayaks all rigged up. Now, obviously with the kayak, there's a couple things I am concerned about. One is capsizing. I guess that's the main thing is capsizing. Um, so I don't take it out when it's super windy. I don't take it out when it's super cold for obvious reasons. You know, I don't, I don't want to deal with hypothermia. I don't want to deal with losing my gear because that wouldn't be good. But uh, yeah, so early season, teal season, early duck season, uh, to mid duck season, it depends on how the weather goes. This is what I'll use. Might even take it out in this, and I'll get to that in a second. Might even take it out just for bird retrieval because I don't have a dog, um, and I'm not that tall, so I can't walk out in the water as far as other people. But uh, yeah, so that that uh, that's the kayak. Pretty straightforward, you know. The other thing is, you've seen this on a couple videos, especially the goose hunting videos where we hunt out in the meadow. They call it the meat wagon. It's basically just a cart. So, I mean, it's all plywood, got a couple sides, and it's all plywood. Need to need to replace some of this plywood. That'll be, that'll be this off-season's project. But this works really good. We load it down with everything. The only thing we don't put in here is our guns. You know, we'll put those on our back, and uh, everything else, if we can fit it in there, we will. We put a crap ton of full body goose decoys in here and then we've loaded it back with at least 10 geese that we got that day um, so I, I know for a fact it, it, it can hold at least three or four hundred pounds of gear and still not break um, it, it does pretty well in snow too I got these beefy tires that I put on so it'll go through mud and snow if the, unless the snow is too deep obviously but uh, other than that it works good uh, Devin and I or whoever's hunting with my you know hunting with me we can both grab on the handle and pull it so you know get two guys on it or whatever but yeah so that's the meat wagon and that's the kayak I'm gonna beef this up in the in an upcoming video put bigger walls on it maybe put some hooks and stuff but uh, that that is how I get my gear out to public land or just any land that I hunt Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Drop us a comment letting us know what you think. Or if you have any suggestions for new upcoming videos. And uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya. That was supposed to hit the camera, but you get the point. See you guys.